Good morning. If you want to see how we made this nice little display box for uh, knives, stay tuned because that's what we're going to be building today. Good morning. Welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 269, the ninth week of our sixth year. Last year we had, last week we had a little drama. Uh, we were going to build a display case. We really didn't have time, but we're going to try. But it didn't matter because our our saw died, and I had to buy a new saw. And uh, I was going to film that, but there was no drama there either. It went together like clockwork, and got it all set up. So today we're going to build those display case. That display case we didn't build last last week, um, and we're going to try to mount four knives in it. Well, we're not going to get any of that mountain done unless we do what? That's right. We need to knock off the chit-chat and get to work. Here are the knives. We put the handles on these three little ones. And we built this big one. Yeah, about had this case together last week. We put in um, almost all the... the uh, box joints before our saw gave up the ghost. What I'm doing now is I'm putting a rabbit around the inside that will receive the back. Well, it's pretty funny, I guess. I, uh, I went to put the dados or the rabbits in the box and I couldn't get my dado set down low enough to cut the uh, rabbit. So I went to the owner's manual and discovered that the biggest uh, dado set you can use is eight inches. And I don't have an eight inch dado set. Now what I do to keep them getting confused is I put a black line all around the inside exactly where I want that uh, rabbit and this is exactly what I mean see how that lines on the wrong side and we can't use our table saw to put these rabbits in but it doesn't matter because in actual fact most most guys just use a router anyway. Now I'll take that piece of wood, put it right back in place. It's not the most efficient way to do it, but keeps you from making stupid mistakes. Got the rabbits all the way around here. Now I'm going to flip it over. I, I need rabbits on the, this is the bottom here. I'll be covering the bottom with this uh, material here. And the top This will be covered with uh, plexiglass, and I got the plexiglass right here. I guess they don't call it plexiglass anymore. So I need another rabbit all the way around here, only not so deep.
Okay, B-52 is pretty loud. I'm cutting the uh, plexiglass to size. Thing, uh, I'm using a, a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade, real fine teeth. It's a new blade. The you can cut this a lot of different ways. You can even score it with a knife and break it off. Uh, you can do it on the table saw, uh, scroll saw, band saw, lots of different ways. Um, but I like this way. The thing to remember is you're going to make sure that it's clamped down good to the table because you don't want it to flop, uh, you know, vibrate up and down when you're trying to cut it. So this way I can cut it with the saw and hold this edge with my hand so that it doesn't vibrate up and down. If I can get it started here. If you don't, if you don't trim this film back before we put that trim on, it can be a nightmare to get it okay you see what I'm doing here so now I can put the trim over it. the box is 17 inches square so we're gonna live on the edge today and we're just gonna cut all the trim all at one time without uh, fitting it in place so what I've done here is I set a stop block here at 17 inches to the long side of the miter and I'll cut all four pieces and we'll see if, if it works. I'm using a pin nailer to uh, attach the trim. Uh, this pin nailer is 23 gauge, it's not a normal brad gun, uses these headless pins. They kind of sink right into the wood. Um, if you do it right, you don't even have to use filler. They, um, you got to be careful about the pressure. Uh, this thing is designed to operate at uh, between 80 and 100 psi. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on here. And I got a real small target. It's one of the reasons I'm using the pin nailer. Got a real small target for my trim because I don't want to put the pin into the into the glass, the plexiglass. I'm uh, sanding it now, the outside anyway, because it's just so much easier to do before I split the case. I'll go ahead and do this hand sanding and we'll split the case.
Okay, I think this uh, this thing's going to be out in this workshop. And so I'm just going to put these plain external hinges on there. Super heavy duty. We built our little box with uh, oak plywood. So I'm going to stain it with uh, golden oak. Got to be kind of careful doing the inside because I don't want to get it on that get it on that glass. It it's plexiglass, but it still kind of stains it sometimes. We're gonna brand the brand the back of the uh, case. So I'm going to start up some firewood here, get our brand heated up. Put it right there and I won't press too hard. That's my real name right there. Okay, let's see if it fits. Well, I got the uh, stain on it and I got the liner in it. Let's, uh, now I gotta figure out some kind of a mounting system for the knives. Well, one part of the uh, designing a mounting system is done and that is deciding where I want them in the in the box. I think I'll align them in there like that. Now I gotta figure out some kind of brackets or something to set them on. Well I didn't bring you along on the uh, brackets to hold this thing in here. Uh, the fact is it was so easy that I had it done before I even had time to get my camera going. Okay uh, I guess we can take the take the film off of this thing. This is also always the funnest uh, and also the scariest part because the glass is scratched or Well, let's set it up here and see if you can even see the knives. See if they. Well, that'll do it for uh, Memphis Monday 269. We built this nice little uh, display case for knives. This. Uh, knife holder here just slides in there. It's wedged between these two corners here so you can take it out and put it back in uh, and modify it. It's not glued. It's just two strips of wood glued together with uh, a spacer sandwiched uh, to give the room, the knife room to go through. I need to clean the glass, but other than that, pretty satisfied. Well, that'll do it for uh, Memphis Money 269. Today we built this nice little uh, 
display case for the four knives we uh, made last week. Um, the only drama was we discovered that our new table saw only accepts 8-inch dado sets. Um, it doesn't accept 10-inch dado sets, which is what I have. So I need to buy a new uh, dado set. And I think it turned out all right. I, I had to puzzle a little bit trying to figure out some kind of a attachment system for the knives that it didn't have to attach to the box. Uh, so this box now can be used for other things if, if, uh, if the, uh, you know, if it ever takes the knives out of it. Okay, so uh, that's all we have. I hope you got some takeaways. Like, favorite, share, and all stuff to you on the internet. Make sure you comment, but most important, make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.